Hey friends, I want to share with you the most powerful God encounter I've ever had before in my life. Now right now, it's super early in the morning, but after an encounter like this, I have to release what the Lord said I could release. When this encounter started, I was asleep. It started as a dream, but when this 90 minute encounter was over, I was fully awake and the Lord was speaking to me so strongly. Now in this 90 minute encounter, the Lord spoke to me about some things about myself, about my family, my friends, where America's going and the Lord hasn't released me to speak of those yet. But there's one specific part of this 90 minute God encounter that he wants me to release today. And part of this encounter, the Lord took me and as he was leading me, I stood in the middle of the map of the United States of America. And the Lord spoke to me so plain and so clearly. He said, I'm about to draw a line. And so naturally, what do you think I did? I started looking around for a line. But the Lord said, no, I'm not going to draw the line, as you would say, in the sand. Look up. And as I looked up, there was a line drawn all around America. And the Lord said, I am speaking to the people who are living above this line. Right then, I knew exactly what this meant. It was a kingdom mindset. And the Lord started to speak to me about for years how he's been calling people to understand the message of the kingdom. The Lord started to show me all throughout America that there's a lot of businesses, there's a lot of politicians, and yes, there's a lot of churches that are not operating with the kingdom mindset. The Lord spoke to me about how this next season is going to be very, very difficult from them. Unfortunately, I hate to say this, but you are going to see in the next 18 months, a lot of churches close, a lot of businesses close. You're going to see a lot of people who are um, in the public's eye, you could say, in all different aspects. You're going to see a lot of people brought low. The Bible clearly states God's going to raise some up. Some's going to come down. There's a, a time to pluck up and there's a time to plant. Right now, God has people all over America that have been hidden, that have a kingdom mindset. I'm talking about politicians, business owners, athletes, people in Hollywood, and even in the church. And what's happening right now is God has a plan and God has an agenda. And the people living above the line, they are about to walk in a favor a blessing and a grace and an anointing like never before. The people living below the line, they're about to suffer some hardship, but it's by their own choice. Now always understand that the Father's heart is always to draw people to repentance and people can go above the line. But here's the thing, when you live in the kingdom realm with the Lord, when you live above the line, you got to have a kingdom mindset. That's why I named my podcast Kingdom Mindset. Because there's people, even in the church world, that are living their, their life building with the world structures. That's not going to work. That's not going to move forward. You can only move forward in the natural. You can't move forward in the spirit doing that. There's a lot of business owners, people out there, who in the next 18 months... They're, they're going to become so confused. They're going to come so frustrated. They're going to try every trick they can. They're going to try to manipulate every way they can. Make sure in this next season, you are aligned with the right people properly. Because if you're not, people would take you down with them. The next 18 months is going to be two things. It's going to be great for a lot of people. It's going to be beyond anything you could ever even comprehend. For other people, it's going to be the worst 18 months of your life. But here's the thing. Even when people hit rock bottom, there's always a chance for repentance to turn your heart and your life back to the things of the Lord. This is what you must understand. God is serious about America. I'm talking about businesses, churches, celebrities, the stay-at-home mom, nurses, teachers, listen, everybody, everybody in America, 
There is a time that God is calling us to stand up, and that time is right now. God gave me a word about 18 months ago. It's on our YouTube channel, and it was about exposed, people being exposed. That was a word 18 months ago. Boy, that word has came to pass. This word is so powerful in my spirit right now. We must move forward with the kingdom mindset. In a kingdom, there is one king. If you are trying to move forward in any area of your life that you are not allowing the Lord to guide you and lead you, it's going to be a rough season. That's why my wife and I have consecrated every single area of our life to God. We don't move forward in anything, any business adventure, anything in ministry without the leading of the Lord. And it's going to be a good season and a bad season in America. It all depends on how you think and where your priorities are. Over the next 18 months, you're going to see people who are household names. Their names won't even be mentioned anymore. Then you're going to see people come to the forefront that God is about to raise up. Now remember, the Bible says, Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. The attacks that are going on right now in America, the attacks that are happening to you, listen, the one that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world. You've got to stay in tune with the Holy Spirit. The Word says His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So listen, don't rely on your natural mind and don't rely on the way that you think you should go. The ways that succeeded in a past season won't be succeeding in this season. You've got to listen to the Lord. You've got to move forward with the things of God right now. I feel this so strong. The Lord also showed me all throughout America, all the different regions of America. He showed me different governors. He showed me different politicians who were about to be removed. He showed me other politicians who were about to stay and have even greater power. The Lord has even been speaking to me that he has business owners. He has politicians. He is about to push new young athletes on the scene that that no one's really ever even heard of. He is going to bring people into Hollywood and the music industry that they're not going to bow their knee to the culture of the world. The culture of the world is going to come down. What you must understand, there are people right now all throughout the world who think they have a hold on America. They think they can control, manipulate people of power with their power, but that's all coming down. That's crashing down because the Lord is about to rule and reign. And when he rules and reigns, he is going to anoint people to do that. All throughout this 90 minute encounter, the Lord started showing me different people. And listen, there's an anointing upon kids and young people that God is raising up. God is supernaturally raising up kids in homes right now. He is raising up teenagers right now in homes that are going to rise up and they are going to help take over culture for the kingdom of God. Yes, we're going to have revival and awakening in America like people have been praying and prophesying. I'm telling you, it's going to look different than we think. So you choose this day who you're going to serve. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord and we're going to serve him wholeheartedly. Go after God with everything you have because God is raising people up right now. He's raising up a remnant in America. And my friends, I want you to know the, heart, the Father's heart, the Father's heart is always to restore. If you do not completely turn to the ways of God right now, it's going to be a rough season. And I'm thankful that, I'm, you know, I've been in church for 25 years, but I'm going to say probably over the last three years, I encountered the Lord like never before because I, I shifted my mind to not think about American Christianity, but to follow the kingdom of God, to have kingdom theology. Friends, this is the time that the kingdom of God is going to be manifested. Matthew 6, 10, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that scripture you need to apply it to every single aspect of your life. If you want any more information about anything my wife and I do, go to jojodawson.net. Follow us on YouTube. We're always releasing prophetic words that we feel from the Lord to help people. I love y'all. And let's go see the kingdom of God manifested.